it's really a horrible loss. Overwhelmed with emotion, we're hearing tonight from those who knew a former Cal basketball star who left his mark on the East Bay community. Gene Ransom, the latest victim of roadway violence. With that, we say good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Dion Lim. You're watching ABC 7 News at 11, live here on ABC 7 and wherever you stream. Ransom was shot and killed last night as he drove along Interstate 880 in Oakland, and it did not take long for police to track down the suspect. 25-year-old Juan Angel Garcia was arrested this morning as the CHP quickly pursued leads that came in. He's being held at the Alameda County Jail. Tonight, Gene Ransom is being remembered as a pillar of the community who helped change lives. We begin our coverage with ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena. She's been exchanging messages with Ransom's son. It's a loss that has shaken an entire community. Gene Ransom was loved by many, leaving a void in the Berkeley Athletics community. Berkeley High, legend. In the 70s, Gene was a star basketball player playing for Berkeley High later going to UC Berkeley and getting a tryout with the Warriors. His best friend is not only remembering Gene by his accolades, but by his heart. I'm really hurt because of the simple fact that Gene and I worked for 20 years through Athletes United for Peace to combat violence. And the very thing that we worked so hard to prevent for our young people he's been a victim of. For decades, Gene gave back to the East Bay. Kevin McLaughlin knew him as... Coach uh, Gene, he's a community leader. He's a community icon. Gene Ransom went back to Berkeley High to invest in young basketball talent. His students remember him as a fierce competitor and coach. He expected the best out of us. Like, when we, when our, our team, um, he coached our freshman team. We were, on, we were undefeated that year. But he expected us to to perform um, at a high level. But for many, the lessons that will last a lifetime are the ones he taught off the court. My mom was killed senselessly in 2007. He was there to support me through that. In the basketball world, he was known as Gene the Dream Ransom. But to Daxter Ransom, he was simply dad. In a statement, he said, my father was and still is a great man. He was a major influence in the East Bay Area community. He showed love to everyone he met and came across sometimes as a flirt. But that was him, Gene the Dream Ransom. He opened the door for future basketball stars who came out of the Bay Area. He was looked up to and loved by many. I'll never forget him and will always love him. It's really a horrible loss. In San Francisco, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News.